Hi, this is Nick Lapola with Simple Video Pro, and I'm here to show you the basics of how to use the Explaindio Video Creator. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create whiteboard sketch videos. We'll start where we left off in the previous tutorial. Click the Add Slide button and choose Create New Sketch Scene. The screen that displays is not the slide preview and settings screen that is used with the animated slides. This is the Canvas screen. This is where whiteboard sketch scenes are created. You can begin by adding text or images by clicking Add Image or Add Text at the bottom. I'll click Add Text. The default text always displays in the middle. The sketch slide also displays in the timeline. To change the text, just type in the text field right here. For example, Explain Dio Video Creator. The text on the canvas matches what you type. You can add other lines by adding new text elements. These drop-down lists are used to modify the text font, style, size, and effects. The text color is modified by using this color picker. You can also use these handles to size the text and even stretch it out. If you want text or an image to size proportionately, then you can hold the shift key down while you size the text or image. Or you can click the lock icon. Then it will keep its current proportions when it sizes. Click here and drag to turn the text or image and tilt it. You can also drag the text or image into position by clicking directly on it and dragging it around. Each element you add to the screen is on its own slide. For example, I'll add an image by clicking the Add Image link at the bottom. You'll see a number of sketch folders. Click a folder to see a preview of the images in that folder. I want to circle the words I just created, so I'll pick this image. Now, again, rotate it, position it right where I want, and then I can size it. Let's add an arrow as well. And then I can add even more images or text. I'll add another image. I can of course drag the image and even flip it using the buttons here on the right. Now I can add text over the image and then another text. Notice that each image and text element added is a slide in the timeline. However, all these canvas slides are grouped into a scene. The order within the scene can be set by clicking and dragging like this. You can also use buttons on the right to order the slides. Note that the right side options change when you have a text element selected versus a graphic element. Now that the elements are in place for this scene, click Close Canvas. The preview screen does not show the whole scene. It only shows the elements up to and including the slide currently selected on the timeline. And it only does a motion preview on that one currently selected slide. So if I select the last slide, the whole scene will be drawn and the final sketch action will show. If you want to preview the entire scene, click the Scene Preview button. Note that the scene slides are grouped together within the scene. So if I order the animated slides around it, look what happens. Or if I drag the last scene slide See what happens to the order. Here is where Explaindio shines again. On the Scene tab here, you can set a background image. Under the Scene Background Image section, click Browse. Then pick an image and click Open. The image is set as the background. Of course, it's best to use a less busy image so the drawing can be seen. To remove the image, click the Remove button. And yet again, Explaindio shines with the ability to use full HD video backgrounds. Under the Scene Background Video section, click Browse. Then pick an HD video clip and click Open. The video is set as the background. Of course, it's best to use a less busy video so the drawing can be seen. To remove the video, click the Remove button. 
You can even use videos of other animated slides produced with Explaindio's special Create Video from This Button feature as well. The Action After Scene dropdown provides options for what to do after the scene is finished drawing. You can leave it on the screen until the next slide, or have it swipe away to the left or right to make way for the next slide. If you have a scene that you want to use in another Explaindio project, you can click Export Scene. The scene will show up in your personal scene library. You can also click Open Canvas here or down here to reopen the canvas and make changes to the scene, such as reposition the objects, and remove or add images and text. The Text tab is yet another place where you can modify the text for the selected sketch slide. Note what happens when I click an image slide. The text options hide, and they display again when working on a text slide. The Slide tab is where you can add a background image just for the selected slide. The option to draw on the previous slide is automatically set. That may be covered in an advanced tutorial. The Action Before tab is where the slide's drawing action is set up. For example, you can select how it's drawn by selecting Nothing, which will make the slide just appear with no action, Sketch with no hand, Sketch by hand, Fade in, or Fly in. Fly in will activate the direction options below. I'll select Sketch by hand. Now I can pick from 31 hands by clicking Set hand. You can even choose a hand that draws from behind the sketch. Just check the Draw Under Sketch box. Flip the hand by checking the Flip Hand option. And tilt the hand by using the Hand Tilt controls. The Overwrite Sketch Color affects only the drawing as it's being drawn. It does not affect the final color of the drawing. Delay Before Action is used to cause the drawing not to begin until the specified number of seconds has passed. Action Duration controls the speed at which the hand draws. This is a balance between looking more natural and the time allotted for each slide, so plan ahead for best results. For example, if I select the drawing and then set the action duration to 2 seconds, it will look very unnatural. But if I select 30 seconds, it flows very well, but will take too long for most video purposes. So in this case, 10 seconds might do the trick, as long as there is a narrative to go with it. Text can be drawn much faster and look decent. The After Action tab controls what happens after the selected slide is drawn. Each slide and text or image element can have its own action after it's drawn. If a Hide action is selected, then the action hand applies as does the action duration. For example, I can select Fly Out by Hand. Then I can pick from numerous flyout hands, select the direction, set the action duration, and watch what happens in the preview. The delay after action will pause for the specified number of seconds before the next slide begins. You can preview the entire scene by clicking Scene Preview, create a video from this scene by clicking here, or, once your video is complete, you can preview the entire production using the preview icon at the top. And then, when you're ready, click Create a Video to save it as an MP4 video file. And you're done. This is Nicholas Lapola from Simple Video Pro. Thank you for watching this Explaindio Video Creator tutorial. Now that you've created a video, you'll need a solution to manage and monetize all your video assets on your website and even multiple other web pages. For the perfect complement to Explaindio, check out Simple Video Pro by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching.